Hello everyone, yet again today I welcome you all to another tech enthusiastic video from Edureka. Today we will be discussing about big data characteristics. Big data characteristics are mere words that explain the remarkable potential of big data. The spinnacle of software engineering is purely designed to handle the enormous data that is generated every single second. There is no place where big data does not exist. The curiosity about what is big data has been soaring in past few years. Now, let me tell you some mind-blowing facts. Forbes reports that every minute users watch 4.15 million YouTube videos, send up to 4,56,000 tweets on Twitter, post about 4,67,400 photos on Instagram, and there are 5,10,000 comments posted and 2,93,000 status updated on Facebook. Just imagine the huge chunk of data that is produced with such activities. This constant creation of data using social media, business applications, telecom, and various other domains is leading us to the formation of big data. And all the five E's that we are going to discuss will be interconnected. And in order to explain what is big data and its characteristics, I will be covering the following topics below. Firstly, we shall deal with what is big data. Followed by that, we shall learn the types of big data. And then the key topic for today's discussion, that is the characteristics of big data, which are namely the volume, variety, veracity, value, and finally the velocity. So all these five are known as the five V's of big data, which describe the exact characteristics of big data. Followed by the characteristics, we shall learn about the applications of big data, then the advantages of big data, and finally, we shall wind up the session with knowing the companies that are hiring the big data developers. Now, without wasting much time, let's quickly begin with our first topic. Before explaining what is big data, let me begin by giving some insight into why the term big data has gained so much of importance. Well, when was the last time you guys remembered using a floppy or a CD to store your data? Let me guess, you had to go way back into early 21st century, right? The use of manual paper records, files, floppy, and disk have been become an obsolete. The reason for this, the use of manual paper records, files, floppies, and disks have become an obsolete. The reason for this, the exponential growth of data. People have begun storing their data in relational database systems, but the hunger for new inventions, technologies, applications with quick response time, and the introduction of internet, even that is insufficient now. This generation of continuous and massive data can be referred to as big data. There are a few other factors which characterize big data, which I will be explaining in this session later. Forbes also report that there is a 2.5 quintillion bytes of data created each day at our current pace. But that pace is only accelerating. Internet of Things is one such technology which plays a major role in the acceleration. 90% of all data today was generated in the last two years. I hope now you had a brief understanding about the amount of data that we are dealing with. Now let us go ahead and understand and define what is big data. So before I explain what is big data, let me also tell you what it is not. The most common myth associated with big data is that it is just about the size or volume of data, but actually it's not. It's just not about the big amounts of data being collected. Big data refers to the large amounts of data which is pouring from various data sources and has different formats. Even previously, there was huge data which was being stored in databases. But because of the varied nature of this data, the traditional relational database systems are not capable to handle this data. Big data is much more than collection of data sets with different formats. It is an important asset which can be used to obtain innumerable benefits. Now, let us move ahead and understand the types of big data. Big data is generally characterized into three different varieties. They are structured data, semi-structured data, and unstructured data. Now, let us understand the first type, which is the structured data. Structured data owns a dedicated data model. It has a well-defined structure. It follows a consistent order and it is designed in such a way that it can be easily accessed and used by a person or a computer. Structured data is usually stored in well-defined columns 
and also databases. For example, the simple and humble DBMS. Followed by that, we should understand the semi-structured data. The semi-structured data can be considered as another form of structured data. It inherits a few properties from structured data, but the major part of this kind of data fails to have a definite structure and also it does not obey the formal structure of data models such as an RDBMS. The very common example of semi-structured data is a CSV file or comma separated file. Followed by this, we have the unstructured data. Unstructured data is completely a different type of data which neither has a structure nor obeys to follow the formal structural rules of data models. It does not even have a consistent format and it is found to be varying all the time. But rarely, it may have information related to data such as date and time. The simplest examples for unstructured data is audio files, images, videos, etc. Now, we shall move ahead into the actual topic for today's discussion that is the characteristics of big data. The following image depicts the five V's of big data, but as and when the data keeps evolving, so will be the V's. I am listing the five more V's which have developed gradually over time. Firstly, the volume. Volume refers to the unimaginable amounts of information generated every single second from social media, cell phones, cars, credit cards, M2M sensors, images, videos and what not. We are currently using distributed systems to store the data in several locations and bring them together by a software framework like Hadoop. We all know that Facebook alone can generate about billions of messages, 4.5 billion times that the like button is recorded and over 350 million new posts are updated each and every day. Such huge amount of data can be only handled by big data technologies. Followed by the volume, we have variety. So, as discussed before, big data is generated in multiple varieties. Compared to the traditional data like phone numbers and addresses, the latest trend of data is in the form of photos, videos and audios and many more, making about 80% of the data to be completely unstructured. Structured data is just the tip of the iceberg. As you can see in the image, there is a whole lot of data to be dealt with other than just the structured type of data that we are normally used to. Followed by the variety, we shall enter the veracity. Veracity basically means the degree of reliability that the data has to offer. Since the major part of the data is unstructured and irrelevant, big data needs to find an alternate way to filter them or to translate them out of the data to make it crucial for business developments. Followed by veracity, we shall now enter into the value. Value is the major issue that we need to concentrate on. It is not just the amount of data that we store or process, it is actually the amount of valuable, reliable and trustworthy data that needs to be stored, processed, analyzed to find insights. Followed by value, the last but not the least, velocity. Velocity plays a major role compared to others. There is no point in investing so much and end up waiting for data. So, the major aspect of big data is to provide data on demand at a faster pace. Now moving ahead, we shall have a brief understanding of big data analytics and then we shall move further to learn some of the major applications of big data. So, big data analytics. Now that I have told you that what is big data and how it is being generated exponentially, let me present to you a very interesting example of how Starbucks, one of the leading coffee house chain, is making use of big data. I came across this article by Forbes which reported how Starbucks made use of big data. Starbucks used big data to analyze the preferences of their customers to enhance and personalize their experience. They analyzed their members' coffee buying habits along with their preferred drinks to what time of the day they are usually ordering. So, even when people visit a new Starbucks location, that store's point of sale system is able to identify the customer through their smartphone and give their barista as their preferred order. In addition, based on ordering preferences, their app will suggest them new products that the customers might be interested in trying. This, my friend, is what we call big data analytics. Basically, big data analytics is largely used by companies to facilitate their growth and development. This majorly involves applying various data mining algorithms on given data sets, which will then aid them in better decision making. There are multiple tools for processing big data, such as Hadoop, Big, Hive, 
Cassandra, Spark, Kafka, and many more, depending on the requirement of the organization. Now, this was the big data analytics. Now, let us move ahead into the applications of big data. Big data is considered the most valuable and powerful fuel that can run the massive IT industries of 21st century. Big data is being the most widespread technology that is being used in almost every business sector. Let us check a few as mentioned below. Firstly, entertainment. Netflix and Amazon use big data to make shows and movie recommendations to their users. Followed by that, we have insurance. Insurance uses big data to predict illness, accidents, and price their products accordingly. Followed by that, we have driverless cars. Google's driverless cars collect about 1 gigabyte data per second. These experiments require more and more data for their successful execution. Followed by the driverless cars, we have education. Opting for big data part technology as a learning tool instead of traditional lecture methods which enhance the learning of students as well as aided the teacher to track their performance better. Then we have automobiles. Rolls-Royce has embraced big data by fitting hundreds of sensors into its engines and propulsion systems. This record every tiny detail about their operation. The changes in data in real time are reported to engineers which will decide the best course of action such as scheduling maintenance or dispatching engineering teams should problem require it. Followed by that, we have travel and tourism. Travel and tourism is one of the biggest uses of big data technologies. It has enabled us to predict requirements of travel facilities in many places, improving the business through dynamic pricing and many more. Financial and banking sectors extensively use big data technology. The big data analytics can aid banks in understanding customer behavior based on inputs received from the investment patterns, shopping trends, motivation to invest and personal or financial backgrounds. Big data has already started to create a huge difference in healthcare sector. With the help of predictive analysis, medical professionals and healthcare personals are now capable to provide personalized healthcare services to individual patients. Telecommunication and media sector is one of the primary uses of big data. There are zettabytes of data getting generated every day and to handle such huge data, we would need none other than big data technologies. Government and military are also a huge users of big data. Very interesting use of big data is in the field of politics. Big data in politics is used to analyze patterns and influence election results. Cambridge Analytica Limited is one such organization which completely drives on data to change audience behavior and plays a major role in electoral process. Also, on the other hand, if you consider the amount of data government generates on its records and also in the military, a normal jet fighter plane requires to process petabytes of data during its flight. So these were the few applications of big data. Moving further, we can understand the scope for big data. Now, the first amongst the scope of big data is the numerous job opportunities. The career opportunities pertaining to the field of big data include big data analyst, big data engineer, big data solution architect, etc. According to IBM, 59% of all DSA or data science and analytics job demand is in finance, insurance, professional services and IT. Followed by the numerous job opportunities, we have the rising demand for analytics professional. An article by Forbes revealed that IBM predicts demand for data scientists well saw by 28%. By 2020, the number of jobs of all US data professionals will be increased by 3,64,000 openings to 27,20,000 according to IBM. Followed by the rising demand for analytics professionals, we have the salary aspects. Forbes reported that employers are willing to pay a premium of $8,736 above median bachelor's and graduate level salaries with a successful applicant's earning at a starting salary of $80,265 per annum. Followed by the salary aspects, we have the adoption of big data analytics. There is an immense growth in usage of big data analysis across the world. The following image depicts the growing market revenue of big data in billion US dollars from the year 2011 to the year 2027. Now that we have finished discussing the scope of big data in future, we shall move ahead into the advantages of big data. The few and major advantages of big data are big data has enabled predictive analysis which can save organizations from operational risks. 
Predictive analysis has helped organizations grow business by analyzing customer needs. Big data has enabled many multimedia platforms to share data. Example, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and many more. Followed by that, medical and healthcare sectors can keep their patients under constant observations. Big data changed the face of customer based companies and worldwide market. Now, we shall move into the next topic and learn about the companies that are hiring big data developers. There are many companies that are looking for big data developers, out of which the crucial and major MNC companies are Oracle, Medium, Amazon, SAP, Dell, Cognizant, CSC, Capgemini, Accenture, Emphasis, CGI, Facebook, and many more. Now we come to the end of this session. I hope you had a very good briefing of big data characteristics and if you have any queries regarding this session then please feel free to write them down in the comment section below and we will revert to you back as soon as possible. My name is Ravi signing off for today and wish you all a Merry Christmas and a happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!